let's do a hard left here for a second and talk <laughs> about assholes. So you have a chapter <laughs> on assholes. And I think the opening line under the summary is plenty of people think I'm an asshole. So <laughs> could you, and maybe a way to approach this is just to ask you what the what the what the right breed of asshole is and not not all assholes are created equal so we don't have to go through all of the the variations the different species that you spec out sure. we could but why why have plenty of people thought that you're an asshole and and how would you kind of delineate acceptable versus unacceptable assholes okay so this was a chapter that was very hard to write it took seven or eight full rewrites to get there. And it was very cathartic. The reason being is that in my heart of hearts, I know that who I am, and, I, and I've had significant people tell me, I, I really try not to be an asshole, okay? But there are certain things that are core to me, whether that's ethics, morals, values, or certain product features that need to happen. And they have to happen with a certain quality level, certain customer experience, or certain technologies that need to exist. And you push, and you push, and you push, because you're trying to deliver for the customer. So there are these assholes, and you know, even people have called Steve that too, right? People have all said, oh, yeah. The question is, is motivation. What is motivating that? And when I mean behavior, I mean like pushing people. I'm not saying offending people. I'm not saying degrading people. I'm not saying you're worthless. That should never be allowed, period. No bullying, that, none of that should be allowed. But challenging people, pushing them to be better, pushing themselves to be better, the team to be better, making the product better, that does not make an asshole. That makes somebody who cares. And I care so much that it may come off as an asshole, but it's just that passion and that caring that matters because it's all in service of the customer and the team slash company slash mission. A lot of times when you see assholes, it's about them, their ego, and their self-centeredness. So really, you have to understand why assholes who might feel that way, you know, and the knee-jerk reaction, oh, he's an asshole. He's just always on my back. He's da 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 Well, are they literally degrading you? Are they making you feel less? Are they pushing you down so they feel better? That is definitely an asshole. If they're there to push the details, to really make sure everybody's doing their best without insulting them, without like telling them whatever, just horrible behavior, but making people go why and asking why five times, why is why can't we do this? Why can't we do this? Why can't we do this? To me, that is, as we say, a passionate hurricane in the book. Somebody who people don't always like to work with, but at the time, but usually years, weeks, months, years later, they go, my God, that was an amazing experience. And yes, it sucked. And yes, it was hard, but I did the best work I possibly could. And it was in, in service of our mission. That's what matters. And so you have to really delineate the two, even though there are characteristics that might be shared or ways that you react, the person who's on the other side react to it, be like, oh, you know, they're de defensive or they're worried about their ego or they're getting bruised. If it's about the work and it's about the mission, not about the person, then that's really the delineation there. For those people wondering where I pulled out the, the opening salvo, <laughs> In, <laughs> in the office with HR at the beginning of our conversation, that was from that chapter. So you also give practical advice on how to deal with sort of political assholes with Machiavellian techniques. Sometimes they don't always work, but sometimes you, can try. They don't you have to try. You have to try because sometimes people are just having a bad day or sometimes they're just scared and you just got to build a relationship with them. But yeah. sometimes it isn't the case. And sometimes you just have to get away if no one can help you. Yeah, sometimes the answer is quitting. Exactly.